Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just with a quick video, I wanted to show you something that I picked up a little recently. Didn't really pick it up, just bought it online. I had been uh, looking at it for quite some time and decided to finally uh, pull the trigger on it. It's $25, but it does some really cool stuff, especially if you have some type of uh, scanner to go with it. Now I'm just using my, my phone to do the scanning, but this is a really slick tool, and depending on how in-depth you want to go, picked up some stuff today, and we'll go ahead and start with working. It is uh, expendable for the Dreamcast, so we're going to go ahead and scan this in and I'll show you how it works. Let me flip the camera around. So we've got the barcode and we've got our program up here. Now it charts everything in here. Uh, as you can see over here, you can use the webcam, you can use a phone, a Bluetooth scanner or USB. And I've been scanning some things in all day today. The app on the phone. And I have some of the other tracking apps, but this was the one that I've just been really amazed with. And you just kind of move it over here. It goes beep. And it says loading. Expendable. Now what it's already done, is it has already put it right here. Now you can fix the artwork and all kinds of other stuff. And what I've also done is over here, I have shelves that have all the games on it. Where it says Dreamcast 2, if I click on it, you will now see Sega GT, which I got not too long ago, and Expendable, which I picked up today. Now the cool thing that you can do is what you can do is if you double click on it, it opens up this window. Now this window has all kinds of information on it has a synopsis, it says Studio Sega Dreamcast, so you'll have to fix that, genres, more systems, it's pulling this information, Amazon, so I'll go ahead and mark that as used, and here are the cool things like shelves, it says that it's Dreamcast, it says how big it is, and let you know the the tracking number. Now it gets weird when you're trying to track down like I have the collector's edition of something something blah 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 blah. That gets real messy. Alright so if you have the barcode great but let's say what happens when you do what I did today and you buy the Force Unleashed for 99 cents and it didn't come with a scanner. Well the good thing is you can just type it into the search field, find it on, it searches Amazon, you find it on Amazon, you click on it, say yep that's the one. So here we are, we're going to type in, let me get the cursor over there, we're going to type in Star Wars Force Unleashed and see what comes up. Okay, so we've got for the 360, 360, it's not what we're looking for. So we're going to go down to, we're going to throw in. Yes, two. See if it's smart enough to pick that up. And it is. So there we go. Star Wars Force Unleashed. If you want to double check, you can go view on Amazon. I've already done the research, so I know that's the right one. I click on it. And then now it says owned. But there you go. That is the delicious library. Uh, it is available on Mac. It's $25, like I said. It's helping me organize things. The greatest thing 
is that you can also say where it is. So like all the things that I've scanned in, they're just they're random things that are sitting here on my desk. So I scanned them in, they're in there now. And now when I move them out to the shed, I can say shed. Once I get them out to the shed, I'm actually gonna go through and once the shelves are up, sort them by shelf. So if I say, I wanna play, I don't know, uh, Shinobi on the Master System, I know that that's gonna be on uh, shelf six. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and as always, play on!